So admittedly, I probably would not have bought a Nest thermostat had my cheap thermostat that came with a furnace not broke, but it did, so I needed one, so I got one. Now, one thing that kind of bothered me is it happened right after I got back into town from a trip, and it was the dead of winter. So had it happened while I was gone, my house could have completely froze, pipes froze, and now because that happened, I'm totally paranoid. Now, I'm in the trades, and I had seen these around in a lot of the high-end homes that I'd worked in, and a lot of the builders swear by them as far as holding up, lasting a long time, not failing on you. And also just for the simple fact that you can program it so that it turns the heat or turns it down depending on if you're home or away or who's home and away. But for me, I love that you can access it remotely anywhere on the app, on your phone, and just double check on your house periodically, not obsessively, but if you, for example, have two houses, one happens to be in a winter climate and you're gone for six months, snowboarding, for example, you can still check on your property, make sure the temperature is good. I also love that they have a little bit more design to it. It's not just an ugly turd on your wall. It actually looks like, almost like art. And it does feel, I was impressed with how heavy it is coming out of the box. It does feel like a solid chunk of material. I was a tiny little bit intimidated on installing it, but like I said, it was either that or let the house freeze. But it was actually very easy to install. Didn't take a lot of times, and the box comes with absolutely everything you're gonna need. And just like that, after hooking up the Wi-Fi settings, downloading the app you're ready to go and another area this would be convenient to have it to be able to control remotely is if you're in a position i know people who are big into airbnb and they own properties around they're not close and the people who come and clean the properties in between tenants and sometimes there's maybe a week or two between tenants they don't always turn the heat down and then you also don't want the house super cold for when the tenants come so they install thermostats like this so they can control them remotely from anywhere turn the heat up or down depending on if they have guests or not and that might not sound like a big deal but a lot of these places are in a seasonal climate so in the winter time they might only have two or three guests per month versus in the summertime it's completely booked so by turning your heat down i mean not letting it freeze but you know 10 degrees or so can really add up over the winter so if that's your situation a thermostat like this can actually pay for itself and justify the higher cost. I don't know that I would just go out and replace your thermostat just if you don't need one, but if you're installing a furnace and kind of starting from scratch, it would make sense to just pay the little upcharge to get a higher end one. The cheaper ones aren't that much cheaper anyways, and they kind of look like crap. So I think it would be silly just to get it and replace your existing one unless you have a reason to. But now that I've got it and I've felt the quality and seen how it is, I'm really curious to try out the doorbell. So that would be my next purchase from Nest. Let me know if any of you have got it, what you think of it, and I'll talk to you next time.